Here's a list of WebMD's top medical stories of the year. Bed bugs, fatigue nation, whooping cough, concussions, and healthcare reform. I can't believe, Michael, the top story is bed bugs. How serious is that, really? Yeah, I mean, bed bugs, you know, it grosses everybody out. People want to know what they look like, what are the what are the bites look like. Thankfully, they don't cause any diseases, but they're really, really tough to get rid of. So that's what people want to know. How do I get rid of them? And it's a big industry, I know. And, and scientists are saying that the reason why they're thriving right now is because we stopped using DDT, a pesticide that kills them. Right. And there's a lot more international travel these days. But... How do you get rid of bed bugs? You usually have to get a pest control company, but then I've even heard some people have to throw their mattresses out because no matter what they do, they just can't get rid of them. Little bitty things that just really tough. So it may not cause any illness, John, but I mean, it is a very, very expensive problem. It's probably cost millions of dollars across the country as people try to eradicate right. them from their homes or from businesses that have been affected, right? Right, and I mean, the big thing is the ick factor. I mean, yeah. people are really grossed out by it. I mean. I would say the one rule, never lend your comb. Never lend your comb. Good rule of thumb. That's what go. your mother tells you. <laughs> but, but do you think it's been overhyped by the media, or is it a real public health concern? It's not a public health concern in that it's causing disease, okay? But it's icky. And, it's, and I have had patients come to me with mm -hmm. bumps on their arms, and, and they don't know, and I'm not sure, and it's hard to get rid of, and there are other things besides bed bugs that cause bumps. So it just it adds to the confusion.